depth of house. It's, it doesn't look to me like it's going to be something that ends or is shallow or anything like that. It's just, as far as I can see, it gets deeper and deeper. My goal has always been to find the ultimate martial art. That's how Tai Chi sort of builds itself quite often is the ultimate martial art. Not that they can beat anybody, but <clears throat> in certain terms, it's more like you know, maybe the ultimate method of moving in a martial way. So what I did with Charlie in the beginning is just my arm. You see, just my arm, and my body weight, he can take it but when I sink. Now I create a leader, and I create all kinds of compression when they come up. See, things I'm pushing are really I'm just compressing and taking this stuff. It's, it's just in my way. Mm -hmm. It's very rare to find a Tai Chi teacher who teaches Tai Chi as a complete art, as a martial art, and I found that in Gord. Uh, mostly uh, it's a historical exercise that uh, happens to be very good for health, and that's what most people are interested in. But uh, a lot of teachers make the mistake of thinking that they can remove the martial and they'll still retain the health. And the, the fact is that uh, it began as a martial art, was developed over centuries as a martial art. And if you try to remove the martial, you actually remove most of the health benefits as well. Mm -hmm. So it, it doesn't mean that we have to train someone to be a fighter or we train people with the method of uh, beating on other people or anything like that. It just means that the correct movements uh, and the correct intention has to be there. That intention again doesn't imply damage to others. It just uh, is more of a, a correct method of moving the body and uh, the intention is more of um, moving with power, moving your energy in a particular manner. My name is Edward. I've been doing Chen style Tai Chi for about five years. I've been doing Tai Chi for about 16 years now. The, the student is the teacher. Mm. The teacher is the guide. The student's job is to teach themselves and the guide's job is to make sure that the direction they're going in is the correct direction. But the, uh, the only way that somebody can learn any, anything of value is that they take it on themselves to learn it and use the guide to check back that the direction is still correct. Mm.
want you to be accurate or getting a good stretch. Just really stay with your breath. Very close to 60 now, mm -hmm. and get, getting stronger and stronger all the time. So the, the increase in uh, in strength and uh, flexibility uh, it's immeasurable. It's, uh, when I first started with Chen Jiaohua's method, I could barely move in his method because my joints were tight, my muscles were weak, nothing worked correctly. And uh, now I can move the way that's required, although it's still not correct. But I can move the way that's required much better at this point. I'm much stronger. My uh, endurance is very good. Strength is really good. Flexibility is improving all the time. Mm -hmm. So the changes have, uh, have just been drastic over six years. Absolutely drastic. Understanding is, uh, you know, it's ten times what it was when I first started. And uh, reading the classics between the Yang style days and the early Chen days, when I read the classics now, they actually mean something. They're not so mysterious and obtuse anymore. Now it's a more concrete thing that I'm reading. And the ability to to take those ideas that are in the classics and change it into physical movement. Uh, again, just relating to myself and not to the masters. It's uh, uh, it's drastic. It's a, a complete turnaround from being just a, a, almost an exercise in philosophy. Mm -hmm. Now it's something that physically I, I feel that I'm uh, gradually getting a handle on and, and I can physically demonstrate it to beginners.